I'm about to start painting. I, 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 if you look at the video I did about the gesture drawing, I'm doing the younger, I'm drawing the younger sunflower, which has his head perked up. I'm not sure where I'm, and that's, I want to reiterate, I don't know where I'm going with this. I just know I have a sunflower here in my hand, and I'm going to paint it. I don't know what I'm going to do the bottle. I don't know how many leaves are going to do. Starting out on any project with your mind already made up is one step toward death, in my opinion. I think that the whole thing should be a, a, a discovery process, and if it is a discovery process, what you create is going to have the spirit of, of a live of a live a liveliness uh, as opposed to a death knell. Okay, I'm working on small paper because I have not resolved my tiny studio situation yet. I may never in this lifetime. But anyway, so what I'm going to do? I'm looking at these pencils. Of course, I can't find a number anywhere. That's an F. That's good enough. 2H. That's good. Uh, 2H. F. Okay. Uh, uh, before I... This is too... This paper's too small for me. I need something about the size of a garage door to really do this and feel... Let my spirit flow. And my spirit wants to flow beyond its 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 little area. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to make another little gesture drawing. Very light with uh with pencil before i even start this thing so that i will know kind of where i and i'll set some boundaries and that this guess what if you're gonna i've already said you don't erase watercolor if you don't like your boundaries don't you need to learn to live with them okay or else start over that's the only thing you can do so anyway so I'm just going to try to prevent some heartache down the road. This side of the flower is mostly leaf. Now, there he goes into leaf mode. Okay, it's going to run off the paper. So I'm going to actually kind of vignette that thing off the paper. I'm not going to draw every little thing of that. Now, what am I going to do about these pencil marks? Nothing. Uh, I don't, I, I, art to me is not a product, it's a process, and I don't mind that you see, see, uh, in fact, I invite you to discover through my art what my process, because that's the important part, you know something, I used to teach, I taught children all my life, but I taught some adults one time, they would come to my house, and, uh, they always laugh, they said, they, in, in fact, I don't think they were really kidding. They uh, would say that they were that they just wanted to come and pick up the art off my floor because after I create it, it's over. I, I, I really don't care. Now I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cheapen myself to that extent. You're, if you buy my art, you're going to pay for it. But it's not really valuable to me anymore. It's not. I don't worship my product. I worship my product. I don't worship anything in art, but but the process is much more important than the product. So right now I have a pretty decent little uh, sketch of where I'm going, and and you're going to see those pencil marks unless I erase them right now. You you will see them. Uh, this guy, the way I painted it, I sh I've, it's coming off too far to that side to fill the frame. So I'm either going to have to do something else or, or crop the painting down, crop the frame down. But anyway, so so that's, in fact, I'm going to go real quickly and I'm going to put the little bit of the bottle in here because I think that's going to help a little bit. Okay, so there we have it. There we have a loose sketch. I'm going to erase out just a few of these marks 
because I don't want every mark in the whole world to show, not especially if it's a wrong mark. And, and, and that's why I do the gesture drawing so I can make as many wrong marks. Through my gesture drawing, I discover what's there. And I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again. In fact, that's gonna be the, the theme for today. Yesterday was, was the theme, where, the day before that was theme was mistakes. Well, we're moving on. Hopefully we won't have as many uh, mistakes. We may, if we do, we just will deal with it. Uh, but, but one way to prevent making mistakes is not to have any preconceived notion about what you're gonna create. Let, the, let, the, let it go, let it flow. And, and see what comes of it, and that's probably what you needed to create that day. Okay, there we go. I have that there. I've kind of erased it back a little bit. Now, I've already talked about this today, but sunflowers are a yellowish orangish color. The leaves, the, the yellow in a leaf is a lemon yellow. So I use cadmium yellow, medium, cadmium yellow, orange, cadmium yellow, lemon. Mostly what this is gonna be, I guarantee you, I will come in here with some other colors. Oh, some blue to make the green of the leaves. Okay, all right, so let's, let's just go with it. And we'll, I don't even know what colors I'm gonna use yet. I'll figure that out as I go. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me get a paper towel in my hand. A brush. I'm using again this Princeton number 14 long round. See that little point on that guy? He's a good little brush. Uh, he has a point, so he's he can make a finer mark, but he but he's not he. He's gonna keep me from just like, eh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to be so tight. <laughs> in fact, people, when I'm in my zone, when I really get started painting, people will ask me, uh, how do you, how, why are you so loose? Now, how did you stay so loose? And a lot of the pro, a lot of it's the, um, the brush. Okay, I'm not trying not to talk so much today. I've been ruining my paintings by talking too much. I will say this. If you'll see what I'm doing, I'm, this is just a gesture. I'm just kind of going back over the, the lines I made for myself, but I'm gesturing. I'm, this is not, I'm not painting a fence. I'm not, I'm, I'm doing a gesture drawing. I'm discovering this, this flower. Although I've studied it all morning to get today, so I should pretty much know where I'm going. So that's the first step. That's the ye lemon yellow. And then uh, I'm not gonna even put any more else there because I'll paint with wet paint. And if I keep adding more and more, it, it's all gonna bleed into this everlasting no. And I really don't want that. Okay, so but I will put, just to give you an idea, I will just try to, give you some idea where I'm going. This this is lemon yellow, cadmium yellow lemon. It is the way I start almost every leaf that I make, probably every leaf. And I and and um I, I'm not I'm not really trying do you see that I'm painting around that's negative paint. I'm painting around trying to avoid that that yellow but I'm suggesting some 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 of this lemon yellow right now but I'm but I'm not if, if I touch this my brush and my paint and my water with uh, with the touch the orange with the lemon guess what they're all gonna be one big mud puddle so that's all I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna let it dry. Don't go on, this is not, do you got the biggest, I've said this before, the most difficult part of a, 
of a watercolor is waiting. So we gotta wait. And I let I I don't I don't want everything to bleed down into the floor. So I keep my paintings flat as long as I can and I let them dry naturally for a good long while, most of the time. Because when you put the dryer on, it starts blowing drips here and there, and I don't want that. 